All right, let's continue our review of exponential and logarithmic functions. In this video, we will focus on solving some um, exponential inequalities and logarithmic inequalities and solving some equations uh, involving logarithms. All right, to solve an exponential inequality, the first thing you do is you look at the related equation which in this case would be 4 to the x plus 3 power equals um, 1024. Now this is going to give us a critical value to look at. The way we would solve this is um, we would rewrite this in log form. So this would become log base 4 of 1024 is equal to x plus 3. Now um, if we have a calculator, we could use a calculator for this. But um, if you don't have a calculator, maybe maybe you have an, a power table like this one. So when you look at this expression, log base 4 of 1024, you're asking yourself, 4 to what power is 1024? So looking at a base 4, you see the 1024, that's the fifth power. Now when we have a test on this, there will be a, a calculator part and a non-calculator part. So if I gave you a problem like this, it could be on the non-calculator part because you could use your power table. So this would just be 5, like we just saw. And so that's equal to x plus 3. So of course we will now subtract 3 from both sides. And that's going to give us 2 is equal to x. So that's not the solution because this is an inequality. But this is giving us a critical value at which to look. So what we will do with that is we will make a uh, uh, we're going to graph this critical value on a number line. So here's our number line. Um, so here's 2. Alright, so we'll graph that as an open circle because it's not or equal to, so we'll leave it as an open circle. So what we need to figure out is, will the solutions go to the left from here or will they go to the right from here? And to figure that out, we will use test values. Um, so when we have an exponential function, I like to use zero a lot. So, um, so zero would be over here somewhere. So I'm going to use that as a test value. So let's test x equals 0. If I do that, then I've got um, 4 to the 0 plus 3 power. That's just 4 to the 3rd power is greater than 1,024. OK, I'm just plugging in 0 right here into the original problem. And I know that that is just 64. All right, 64 greater than 1024? No. Okay, that's false. That means zero is not a solution. So this is the no side where there are no solutions. That means this is the yes side um, where all the solutions are. So we will draw an arrow going to the right to show that these are the solutions to the inequality. Um, and then you can go ahead and write uh, the solution set in interval notation by writing 2 to infinity. All right, we'll you leave that 2 as a round parenthesis um, because it's an open circle because it's not equal to 1024. We just want to know what x values will give us greater than 1024. All right, so at 2 that's when we're equal to 1024. So we don't want to include that. So this is the answer, 2 to infinity. Let's look at another one. All right, this is a logarithm. So we have to be careful. Um, whatever else happens, um, say if we're doing a number line, I need you to understand that logarithms cannot go left. Um, of They can't be 0 or they can't be negative. So the domain for a log function is going to start greater than 0. Okay, 
So um, whatever else happens, you know, like say if we get some value, um, like on the last problem, we had two and it went to the right, okay? So say if we had the same type of situation, um, sure, it can go to the right all at once, all right? It, it can be greater than two. But what if it went to the left? Um, if it goes to the left, we are not going to say negative infinity to two or whatever it is. Um, logarithms cannot go to zero. So if it goes to the left, we would just say zero to two or whatever it turns out to be. So I just wanted to mention that up front um, before we get started. Now, to go ahead and solve the problem, again, we will solve the related equation to get a critical value. So here's the related equation. Um, to solve this, we would rewrite this in exponent form, starting with the base of 6, and then uh, everything else sort of changes sides of the equation. So this will be 6 squared um, is equal to 3x. Um, 6 squared, that's 36, is equal to 3x. And you divide by 3, like so. All right, so that's going to give you um, x is equal to 12. So that's our critical value. Let's go ahead and graph that on a number line. Okay, so here is 12. Um, we always start off with a circle. Now, will it be open or closed? Well, it's less than or equal to 2. 12 is where it's equal to 2. We're including that by making it a closed circle. So now it's just a matter of what will our solutions go to the right or will they go to the left being careful to stop at zero because it's a log function. Um, okay, well, test values. Let's, um, you, we can pick a value either to the left or to the right of 12. I'm going to pick an x value of 1. Okay, so let's say here's 0 over here. Well, let me use a different color. All right, so let's say here's 0 and here is 1. So I'm going to do a test value of 1. So let's test x equals 1. Find out if that's the solution or not. If I put in 1 right here, then that makes log base 6 of 3 all right, because 3 times 1, right, but that's just 3, plugging it in right there. Um, and that's going to be less than or equal to 2. Um, I can evaluate this in my calculator, okay? Um, so in my calculator, that would be log 3 over log 6. So that would be log 3. Whoops, did not mean to do that log 3 over log 6. Okay, so that's point, you know, 6, 1. So I've got point 6, 1 is less than or equal to 2. Well, that's a true statement. It is less than or equal to 2. So that means this, yes, is the solution side of the equation. Okay, this is where all the solutions live over here. So this is the no side over here. Um, for that reason, I am going to draw my solutions coming to the left. You know, I can't make in my mind which color I want to use. Um, but I need to be careful to stop it here at zero as we discussed before. So my solutions are going to be to the left, but they cannot be zero. So I'm going to put an open circle at zero and just stop it right there. All right, that's a very crooked line. I want to see if I can do any better than that. Or am I just a crooked man living in a crooked house? All right, a little bit better. So this is the graph of the solution set. And um, so in interval notation, that would be 0 to 12. And I would use the square bracket on the 12 for the same reason I put a closed-in circle because I want or equal to 2. And 12 is where it equals 2. So anyway, this is the answer to number 9.
All right, I'm actually going to stop this video here um, because both of these problems dealt with inequalities. All right, we did an exponential one, and now we did a log one. Um, but the next problems are just solving equations. So that's a different thing. So I'm going to put that in a different video. Okay, um, now just adding one little extra thing on here. Before I said that I could have put this problem on the no calculator part of the test. But then on this problem, all of a sudden I used a calculator. Um, is there a way that I could have done this without a calculator, you might ask? Um, well, that's a good question. I'm really glad you asked that. The, um, there is a way we could have done this without using a calculator. You just have to choose your test value a little more carefully than just picking one. Um, see if you can understand why if I wanted to not use a calculator um, I'm going to pick a test value of one-third now see how I picked one I like to pick one when I do logarithms because say if I had log base 6 of 1 I would know that that would be 0 because 6 to the 0 power is 1 anything to the 0 power is 1 so I like to have log of 1 um, that didn't really work out for me this time because of this I had this 3 there so if I think just one step ahead okay if I have log base 6 of 3x if I want this entire thing right here to be 1 what does x need to be to turn this part of it into a 1 well x needs to be 1 third alright imagine that I put in um, one third for x right here. Okay, that would make this three times one third. Well, three times one third, the threes cancel, and then I would just have one. Okay, so because of the three, um, if I wanted to do this without a calculator, I could, but I would have to make my test value something like um, x equals one-third, which I know is a little tricky. But if you're not allowed to use your calculator, this is what you'd have to do. Um, so if I make my test value one-third, then this becomes log base six of three times one-third. Okay, is less than or equal to two. Threes cancel out right away. So this becomes log base six of one is less than or equal to 2. And like I said, 6 to what power equals 1? 6 to the 0 power equals 1. Um, so is that less than or equal to 2? And yes it is. So just like we did before, we find that 1 third here uh, is a solution. So I mean here would be 1 third to be over here somewhere. So just like before, that still tells us that this is the solution side of the critical value. All right, I got a yes over here. So all of these are solutions, uh, which means this side is the side where there are no solutions. So you get the exact same answer. Um, but that's how you would have to do it without a calculator. Pick something like one-third to cancel out the three and get the one.